All right, guys, I guess the whole damn world is going electric. <laughs> Let's get on topic. Hey everybody, it's Thomas with Get Out Arizona and you're watching another amazing episode of Bicycle Showcase. Maybe not so amazing, I don't know. Yeah. It'd be pretty they'd good. They'd be pretty good. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> on Toolbox Topic, and we're coming to you once again from Track Bicycle Stores West Phoenix in Goodyear, Arizona, where the cool kids hang out. And me. And I'm with my co-host, Brandon Van Leuven. Brandon, how the hell are you? I'm doing well. Nice. Doing well. <laughs> and just off vacation in friggin' Hawaii. Feeling Did you enjoy good. yourself? Oh, man. Good, good times? Are you thinking yeah. about opening up another truck store in Hawaii <laughs> at this point? I did notice there's not very nice bikes in Hawaii. No, there's not. There's <laughs> kinda, not. Well, they're just kind of getting around. Kinda, just, yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah, so different lifestyle over there, different kind of relax and everything like that. So, I guess. As opposed to us howlays who go over there and fuck it up for them. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, joking, guys. I revert back to my North Shore roots in 1980. So, Brandon, today, seriously, the whole goddamn world's going electric. We got and electric toothbrushes. <laughs> we got electric generators <laughs> we got electric fans which the noise in the background i'm sorry guys but it's it's a human son it's of a bitch a, today yeah so. it's a dank today it is <laughs> um and it's too early in the morning for swamp ass or titty sweat so but oh my not too long ago we did bike showcase on the fx2 mm -hmm. and you know we said it's sweet spot and a great hybrid bike and everything and now yeah. we have the fx plus, plus two nicely done okay nicely done. right which is the electric version right. of the FX2. Tell us all about it, Brandon. Uh, you know, one thing weird about the FX Plus 2 is, <laughs> you know, we did the FX2 acoustic version. Right. We call that a fitness bike. Analog, not acoustic. <laughs> Analog. <laughs> it was acoustic. <laughs> Analog. <laughs> so that was, we call it a fitness bike. Right. right for, for, you know, getting your workout in. Yeah, yeah. So they changed the description for this guy. It's still an FX but what they categorize it as a is a bike. lightweight commuter city bike. You ain't a lightweight commuter city so bike. So a little bit different purpose for this bike. Right. Uh, and it's Trek just filling in all the little gaps, just all the segments of, of electric riding that people want to do. Right. This is just one more choice, uh, one more variation of the electric bike. Yes. Um, Nice price point it comes in. Well, let me back up. We called it a lightweight one. Right. I also call it a light duty one. Right. <laughs> I would say that it's kind of a light duty, but it's still a very strong bike. It can hold up to 300 pounds of rider weight and gear. So it's, it's by no good. means, um, it's by no means a weak bike. Right. But they call it more of a lightweight one. And it's true because it's only weighs 40 pounds. It's not bad. It's actually good. That's about it's 15 not pounds lighter than uh, Betty. Yep. So that's great. It comes with all the accoutrement to do your commute at first, except for the bags, of course. Right. We've got, got a rack. Fenders, rack. It's a, it is an M, uh, MIK rack, so you have to make sure you get the correct um, uh, bag or trunk bag for, for it. it. Yep. Uh, but what's cool is integrated lights right. on this guy. Which is ready, great. Ready to commute. And a bell. On the very first day. Come on. Yeah. It's got I'd, a bell. I'd get a different <laughs> bell, though. No, that one's not uh, bad. It's not too it's bad. Not too Some bad. of the stockings so, kind of yeah. suck, but that one has a good... <laughs> hey, at least it comes with a bell. That one has a good ring to it. Um, <laughs> I like how this is set up very ergonomically right there. You got some ergonomic grips right out of the gate, too, which is yeah. great for yeah. uh, commuting. And I noticed this has a... Um, is this a one by or a two by one drive? By, one by, one by nine drivetrain on okay. that. So simple, Very cool. perfect, perfect for simplicity and commuting. Mm -hmm. um, it'll do, it'll do just fine. Yeah. yeah. So I noticed we have a hub drive it as is. opposed to a mid drive. It is. So now I've test ridden a couple of hub drives and all I own are the mid drives by Bosch. Mm -hmm. Boy, this makes the ride different because, because you have so much weight back here. The handling, it affects the handling. The handling. So right. just for those people out there, maybe you're used to a mid-drive ride, but the FX2, the FX plus two might be something in your uh, purview now because being a light commuter, it, it's gonna handle a little different with that. Yeah, well, with the that center is off a little bit. Yeah. Um, the compromise, yes, we have a Hyena rear hub drive, 250 watt, 250 watt battery. Right. <sighs> It's not as smooth as the Bosch. Yeah. The handling's not as good as the Bosch. But well, we're also not at a price point on the Bosch. Yeah, if this was a Bosch mid-drive, this would be a four thousand dollar bike. Precisely. Easy. So now we're getting into a price point that people, more people, can stomach and yeah, get yeah. into. Uh, but we do have to 
uh, you know, Pros recognize that the lack of, yeah. of performance is there. This one, it's not as smooth as the acceleration as the Bosch stuff, um, but it works just great. Right. And I think if it gets more people into riding a bike to work or riding a bike yeah. to get do errands, it's, it could it, that's okay. Possibly be the gateway bike. <laughs> possibly. <laughs> Before you're looking to buy that new. Uh, the Elant. S9. Well, the 9 at line, yeah. And <laughs> yeah. I was actually thinking the new Fuel E. Or that. I'm yeah, cap, that thing. That'll be a good show, showcase. Yeah, when we get one, we'll definitely do that. So, But you're right. And I think that the most important part is this is allowing people who may not have had that opportunity before to start using a pedal assist bike. Um, and yes, for their shorter commutes. And let's talk about that commute too for a minute because mm -hmm. sometimes there's a misconception on mileage. Bosch has the mileage calculator, which is pretty darn accurate. Um, I think all new riders to a pedal assist bike need to just go out and ride the different um, different modes. So you can see over different terrains and everything like that. I know mine very intimately and not to sound gross or anything, but you have to <laughs> so you know what your bike's capable of. Yeah. This is gonna save thing. But weight is such a huge factor. Weight and terrain and conditions are a huge factor. What is Trek listing as the range for this bike? 35 miles per charge. Okay. So that's very vague because it you is. do get different modes on here. That's for someone who's 160 touring. pounds only carrying two beers and nothing else. <laughs> right. You know, and they're riding so. to meet their friends at the pub, but a fat ass like me <laughs> carrying anything is yeah. going to get maybe 20 miles. But I think also for what the bike was intended for, right. commuting, city riding. Yeah. You, you, I think you, feel, you can feel pretty confident that you're not going right. to run out of charge. And, and then if you do, the bike only weighs 40 pounds, so you, you can, can pedal, it. pedal it home. Yeah, this is going to pedal just like a regular bike. And believe me, I run out of charge on my rail <laughs> and had to pedal that son of a gun. And uh, it's, it's no fun, but it works and it'll be just fine. Yep. So as far as that goes. Uh, while we're talking about the charges, the battery is integrated into the frame. It is removable via removing or via coming out of the bottom bracket area right. there. Um, right. But since we can't access the battery, our charging port is in the down tube right, right there. So we don't need to uh, remove it. What I see, especially in Arizona about that is you're going to want to bring your bike inside the house. Yeah. Whereas the removable batteries where I say, you know, just leave your bike in the garage, just bring your battery inside the house mm -hmm. when it, on these super hot days. Now we really, I yeah. uh, stress bringing the whole bike inside the house just, um, just to help the battery out. Unless your bike's climate thing. controlled like mine and then you don't have to worry about Dang. it, but realize, yeah, right? That's nice. Captain Bougie over That's here. That's nice. Um, <laughs> but do realize uh, excessive heat, storage and excessive heat will cause degradation on the battery itself and uh, it'll void your warranty, guys. You know, so just kind of keep that in, in perspective or keep that in mind when you're purchasing one of these. Yeah. Um, you know, riding and everything like that and the heat isn't going to do it, but when you're storing it for seven days with yeah. an average temperature of 130 degrees in most garages At here in Arizona, my garage. yeah, <laughs> um, it's going to cause some issues. But now, anything else, Brandon, on the bike? I mean, the group, what, what group is this? It's an, Altus. It? it's an Altus. It's an Altus nine speed. Okay. It is very basic. It is very entry level. Um, but again, we're at a, at a lower price point here, so yeah. it's still great quality for what the bike was intended for. It's, it's a good spec for what this bike was intended for. Okay, now I have to ask, the FX Plus 3, is there only an FX, was available the only, but, but is there an FX Plus 3? There is not. There is not. No. Okay, so this is where. This is the FX Plus right now. Yep. This is the, yep. ah, this the is it. pinnacle. Guys, <laughs> get in on the ground floor. This Maybe more the, will come out, um, but I'm not aware of that. Yeah, and you know what, and I think for this bike though, for its intended market and everything, you ride it, shifter wears out, you replace it derailleur wears out you replace it this is just going to be one of those good solid box bikes that you can get and the only thing you have to really worry about is making sure you have a good helmet you know if you're not already equipped to, to ride a helmet um, maybe you know within the first six months you replace the seat and find something that's more ergonomic to your uh, body contour little things like that and uh, yeah I don't think you can go wrong yeah this looks like a really fun bike yeah now another good option yeah absolutely guys so Brandon, is there anything else? Anything else we need to add before yes. we cut these people loose? I think we covered it. We're getting better at these, aren't we? Now, this one is a commuter <laughs> bike, and there's not a whole lot of flash to talk about. So it's one of the reasons we're able to keep this short. Um, now, this is a medium. Do you have any others in stock, or is the medium? I have a staggered, a step-through version okay. in stock. I have a uh, really large, really. <laughs> clap on, clap off with a clapper. <laughs> Jesus. 
got to uh, remember yeah. to pay the electric bill. We, have a, we, we do have a few in stock right now. Okay, but as they far have, as size wise, uh, the stagger I believe is a medium as well. And okay, I, think I have a large. You don't have a large. large. I do have a large. Do have a large. Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're shorter than me, you're going to go with the medium. If you're taller than me or my height or taller, you're going to go with the large. So I like the large. So, all right. Oh, let's talk about tubeless ready or just. These not. are not tubeless ready wheels, okay, but they come with some very strong tires. Right. They come with the hard case tires, a commuting tire. Oh, okay. It's um, good commuting tire. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So guys, you know, we're interactive. And before we go to close out, I had to ask that question more or less. <laughs> really? <laughs> the air compressor? <laughs> Cut. <laughs> All right, guys, sorry about that. The fans you can deal with, that air compressor in the background, <laughs> you can't. So, you know, we're an interactive channel. Brandon and I love it when you guys ask questions or comments or your experiences and everything like that. And by and large, most everybody has been very respectful. Even when you don't dis or even when you disagree with us, which we don't mind, I answer, respond to everybody. But please keep in mind that when we're talking about the bikes, especially on the bike showcases or maybe in a toolbox topic or something, you're right. You don't need tubeless tires. These are just fine. Um, there was a comment, you know, going, hey, you know, not having tubeless tires has been working for years and everything. And that gentleman was absolutely right. And I even told him so much. But in 2022, everything's pushing towards tubeless tires. It is a more efficient way to go. So when we talk about these things, we're not trying to knock the old school method. Ah, we're 50 years old, practically. We came from the old school method. But <laughs> um, there's nothing wrong with being more efficient yeah. in, in how we use our bikes and you know the current technology that it makes our Agreed. bikes more efficient, Agreed. so Agreed. as far as that goes. So we don't mean any offense. And again, we're open to <clears throat> all comments and sharing with us and everything like that. It's awesome. It's one of the main reasons why we do this channel. The other reason is all the hookers and blow we get behind stage. No, I'm joking. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm joking too. yeah, you're joking too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So at this point, we ask that you hit the like, the subscribe, and the bell notification icon. Why? Because it helps out this video. It helps out the channel. And we need all the help we can get with park passes, gas money, and coffee money. Even though I drink shit Circle K coffee, but that's a story for another day. We also ask that you follow us on social media. Those links are down below. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. It's the devil's work, but it helps to get the word out, uh, word out about get out Arizona and we also announce group rides group hikes very interactive on the social media as well and we love to have you follow along there's a link for check bicycle stores of West Phoenix if you have any questions about this bike any bike that you've seen in a bike showcase or anything that you've seen in general you just want to call down maybe you're feeling lonely you need some reassurance do it and see what happens. I don't know. I mean, have, I've never some called. sultry voices around here. <laughs> yeah, we get do. You through, it'll get you through the night. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I digress. So seriously, though, give them guys, give the guys a call. Uh, they'll be more than happy to help you out. The other links are a hodgepodge. Some of them might be affiliate links. If you follow one of those and you make a qualifying purchase, we will receive a small commission, but you will not be charged anything additional. So, guys, there it is. The FX Plus 2 hybrid bike from Trek. Let us know what you think in a comment down below. Be kind to yourself and others. Okay. Be amazing stewards on that trail. All right. Yeah. And then we got to ask, what are you waiting for? Get out of Arizona. Yes. We'll see you guys on that next adventure. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Brandon, thanks, buddy. Latest.